Hey everybody, Quad Nines here with a, a deck tech I've been promising for a while. Um, it's my Goblin Tribal EDH deck. Um, I switch out the two commanders between Krenko and Ib Halfheart. Uh, Krenko is more powerful, or usually seems that way, but he does draw more hate. Uh, this guy just looks so silly and people don't even read the card half the time. They just read the flavor text and like, yeah, sure, whatever. But he also can pump up a lot of goblins and, you know, just wreak havoc on um, combat because, like, you can't block block them unless you just want to take four with your guy. So it's pretty pretty different styles, but they both are very pretty strong. I've been running Krenko more lately just to, uh, you know, get a few cheap wins, I'll say. Just land an early Krenko and protect him a little bit. And, uh, yeah, make a lot of goblins. So I'm uh, going to start off with the mana base running um, 26 of this shiny full mountain. Uh, I like it a lot from Odyssey. And uh, I don't know, not much else to say about it. 26 of those. Uh, it's really important to have um, a lot of red mana. Colorless mana doesn't do you a lot of good, but you can use it sometimes. But uh, yeah, really want to make sure you have red uh, early on. So I uh, got Ghost Quarter for you know, a little land destruction, nothing too mean. Uh, Temple of the False God, just a real good EDH card, uh, ramping you a little bit. Uh, you know, it's not the best first land drop, but uh, later in the game, great card. Uh, Nykthos, uh, a lot of red pips on goblins, so you can generate a lot of mana with this card. Pretty easily, actually. Uh, Valakut, I won a game the other day. I couldn't possibly kill him with combat damage, but I just kept playing mountains and uh, eventually just burn him out. Uh, Goblin Burrows, uh, it's probably not the best card, but it says Goblins on it, and I don't know, it's a sweet fool, so. Teetering Peaks, a uh, little better version of Goblin Burrows. It's only one-time use. It does intertap, but, you know, it makes red mana. Uh, Forgotten Cave, just cycling that can tap for red. And Rogue's Passage, because uh, sometimes you just really want to be able to get in there with, like, say, a pile driver or something. So, uh, not bad. I have swung for lethal because of that before. On to the spells, like instants and sorceries specifically. Krenko's Command makes some goblins. Dragon Fodder make more goblins. Hoarding Outburst make more goblins. Massive Raid, count up your goblins and burn their face off. So this is instant speed. Um, I'll do this a lot of times in response to board wipe, just to feel like I get value out of my tokens even if they're dying because you know i can do 8 12 15 damage off this three mana uh ruination is just what it says it ruins a lot of people's time destroy all non-basic lands of course i run mostly basics so not a big deal uh reforce the soul is just a you know miracle um will of fortune uh usually i just cast it for five um, when i've got a lot of mana just need to refill my hand or like if somebody has um you know, I know they've, like, tutored for a card, but it's in their hand, but they haven't played it yet. Let's get this. You know, kind of wrecks any plans they have. Uh, and my X spell suite, uh, Bond the Damned. Only hits one player, but it also hits all their creatures, so very good. Uh, Banefire is a good finisher because it can't be countered. Uh, you know, pump a lot of mana into it. Street Spasm. Uh, only deals with creatures without flying, but it's instant speed and the overload, you know, is pretty relevant sometimes. But, uh, yeah, so, can just kill, I don't know, you can just kill one thing or, you know, hopefully wipe a board of, like, elves or soldier tokens, anything. Uh, and then this is the instant speed one. I like it a lot. It does cost double red, but instant speed, fireball, uh, can, you know, win the game quite easily. I'm looking to put a braid of fire in the deck just for that card because adding the mana, add the mana, add the mana, uh, seems good. Onto the uh, permanents that are not creatures, of course, Soul Ring, Skull Clamp, the best equipment for a bunch of little guys, uh, Relic of Progenitus, some uh, only graveyard hate, Quest for the Goblin Lord, uh, usually gets turned on, I don't know, turn like two turns after it hits the board, so. Goblin Bombardment and Impact Tremors. Uh, they do the same things, they do a different thing. This is when they come in, this is when you, you can sack them, so when they leave. Uh, can do a lot of damage with either of those cards. Uh, this is Swift Foot Boots for Krenko, uh, being able to tap right away, or just some of the other creatures that might not have haste, but also need protecting. So Fire Diamond, uh, Sweet 7th Edition Full, and, you know, Rock Taps for Mana, good stuff. 
all Armin, I never can pronounce that. Uh, goes and gets two basics, puts them in your hand. So thins out the deck and gets you some lands to play. Howling Mine is, uh, you know, red card draw. It's the best I can do right now. Uh, most people, you know, if you have this out, they kind of leave you alone a little bit more because they like drawing the cards. Uh, of course, you can just cast more because yours are very cheap. Uh, Bogart Shenanigans is kind of like Goblin Bombardment. It deals uh, damage to target player, not creature, but player. Anytime a goblin uh, is put in the graveyard from play. Uh, so, yeah, you have this out with a Goblin Bombardment, and you just kind of machine gun them down. Uh, so, if you're at Vortex, shuts off Aloro and Tristani and other really funky life gain decks, and it'll eventually kill somebody. Price of Glory... Uh, makes people play more fair on their turn. Uh, they can tap lands on their turn or on somebody else's turn if they want to, but they have to destroy the land. So, pretty uh, pretty mean card, but it kind of evens it up for all the people playing all the blue instants like I normally do. But Goblin Warrens, uh, another sack outlet, but this one is good because it lets you put more goblins into play. So this with Bogart Shenanigans does damage and makes more goblins. You just have a have a, have to have a fair amount of mana. Uh, this would also be another good thing for Braid of Fire. Uh, Ashnod's Altar makes mana, sack outlet. Hall of Triumphs pumps my creatures. It's kind of a nombo with Skull Clamp, but, you know, it's okay. Uh, Perforos can just, you know, you dump a lot of... You have this guy on the field with Krenko active, and everybody has a bad day. Definitely can kill people quickly. Chandra is basically here for the zero ability to kind of get the pseudo card draw. Occasionally you tick her up. You don't really want to ultimate her because there's not many non-X spells that are you'd want to copy a bunch of times. And you can't copy the X spells. So, yeah. uh, Outpost Siege, more card draw. I also occasionally use this one. Uh, it does one damage to target creature or player whenever a creature I control leaves the battlefield. So if I'm sacking them, it's kind of like another Bogart shenanigans. Stranglehold, once again, makes people play more fair. Uh, they can't search libraries. They can't take extra turns. You know. Like the card says, Stranglehold. Thran Dynamo, uh, not a lot of mana rocks, but that's one of the better ones because you can use it right away after you cast it. Uh, Slate of Ancestry can draw a lot of cards. Cage Sun is the mana doubler of choice because it only hits my things and does make my creatures bigger, which is good. Obelisk of Erd can cast this very early on. It makes my goblins quite huge, which is awkward for goblins. But only the creatures, one drops. Uh, Goblin Lackey. Always putting goblins in play, goblin vandal, destroying things that bother you, skirt prospector, a sacrifice outlet that gives you mana, sack outlet that pumps dudes, finder street denizen can get quite large, goblin bushwhacker pumps their whole team and gives everybody haste, sometimes I use them to give uh, Krenko haste, uh, legion loyalist, um, you know, gets in there, goblin recruiter, there are certain stacks I go for and sometimes I just, you know, get two or three cards and go about my business. Uh, Warren Instigator, I need a shiny full copy, but this uh, Chinese one I have to do for now. Goblin Pile Driver, like I said, make him unblockable and he can win the game. Mog War Marshal is just a lot of bodies for a little mana. Goblin War Driver pumps your whole team during combat. Rabble Master, everybody knows this guy. The Bane of Standard for a while. Arms Dealer turns your guys that may be going out into four damage to another creature. Can get rid of some generals real easily. Goblin Chieftain. When the Lord Effects gives him haste, this is the Lord Effect gives him mountain walk. Goblin War Chief makes him cost less and have haste. Goblin General, when he attacks, everything gets bigger. Matron uh, just searches up the one thing you're missing. Jim Palm Incinerator can kill something usually pretty easily while you're drawing a card when you cycle it. Uh, Goblin Sharpshooter, once again, can machine gun everybody down with a Goblin Bombardment in play or an Ashnod's Altar, either one, because you can just tap, 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 tap. Uh, Ringleader draws you a bunch of cards. Hillcutter can keep something from blocking. One of the few non goblins is Solemn. Uh, Siege Gang Commander. Skirt Fire Marshal can end games. Uh, he does have protection for it, so he doesn't kill himself. Goblin Assassin is hilarious because I make a bunch of guys and everybody else has to sack things, and I don't care if I sack tokens. Uh, one of the other non goblins is Zealous Conscripts, which combos with Kiki Jiki. Uh, I don't do it often, but when I do, it wins the game, obviously. And the biggest creature is Hell, Hellkite Tyrant, which keeps the artifact decks in check and can win you the game just randomly. So, hope you like the list. I tried to, you know, rush through it so the video wouldn't be super long. But uh, I'll try and post a, a link to the uh, the deck list in case you don't want to write all this down. 
But uh, anyway, I'm going to try and do a tribal series. This was the goblins, the red tribe. Going to do the other ones by color. Uh, hopefully pretty soon. Thanks for watching.